So in this video, I'm going to talk about embryonic tissues. And so just a little bit of background. Um, we all know human development begins as a fertilized egg. So the first step in something becoming a human would be the egg becoming fertilized. So a fertilized egg is step number one. And then the egg divides to produce a lot of identical smaller cells. And so eventually, the first type of tissues will appear when these, start, when these cells start to organize themselves into layers. Eventually, when there are enough cells, when the egg has divided into enough cells, they, the cells will organize themselves into layers. And there will be three primary layers that we're going to talk about. And they are called the ectoderm, which is the outer layer. And shown down here, it's the blue. The mesoderm, which is the middle layer, shown in red. And then finally, the endoderm, which is the inner layer, shown in yellow right there. And so each layer gives rise to a specific um, a specific thing in the body, so a specific system, for example. And now let's talk about that more in depth. Let me just clear this. And so first we're going to talk about the ectoderm, which is the outer layer of the tissue. Um, and so essentially the ectoderm gives rise to the epidermis and the nervous system. And so the epidermis is essentially the outer layer of the skin, while the nervous system is the nervous system. It allows for communication between cells. And so next, let's talk about the mesoderm. Let me clear some of this. And obviously, just to mention it um, again, the ectoderm is represented by this blue layer right here on the diagram shown below. And that's why I drew the red arrow to the blue uh, layer. So now let's talk a little bit about the mesoderm. So the mesoderm gives rise to mesenchyme. And mesenchyme is essentially just gelatinous tissue. And remember, we're talking about the middle layer, the layer in red. And then Eventually, so mesoderm essentially then becomes mesenchyme, and then mesenchyme then gives rise to blood, bone, and muscle. So some really important stuff. So pretty much you could kind of think of it as mesoderm to mesenchyme to blood, bone, and muscle. And that pretty much sums it up for the mesoderm. And next, let's talk about the endoderm, so the inner layer. So finally, we're going to talk about the endoderm. The endoderm gives rise to many, many things, but most specifically, we're going to focus on the ones that I've highlighted. Um, so as we know, the endoderm is the inner layer, and it gives rise to mucous membrane lining digestive and respiratory tracts. So it helps, it gives rise to the membrane. As you know, there are membranes lining the digestive and respiratory tracts to make sure that things go in and out, mostly in, hopefully, um, pretty smoothly. And so mucus covers the digestive and respiratory tracts, and the endoderm gives rise to that mucus. And also, the endoderm gives rise to digestive glands, which help you, obviously, digest food. But it also gives rise to a lot of other stuff, but those are the main things that we'll focus on. Because, obviously, we're not going to try and name every little thing that each of these layers gives rise to. We're just going to cover the really important ones. And so that pretty much sums it up for the three embryonic tissues, the three primary germ layers. Um, 
So essentially what you need to take out of this is that first tissues start to appear when the cells organize themselves into layers. So when there are enough cells to organize themselves into layers, that's when you get the first tissues. And the layers then become the ectoderm, which is the outer, the mesoderm, which is the middle, and the endoderm, which is the inner layer. And they all give rise to different things. And so I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.